On this edition of Temple Update, Temple says goodbye to its provost, the senior class celebrates one more time, and Blackboard has a new outlook. Hello and welcome to this semester's final edition of Temple Update. I'm Danielle Sacco. And I'm Sydney Grant. It's that time of year and after final exams conclude, Temple seniors will be preparing for one thing, graduation. It's the one day every college student works for. Temple's class of 2010 will graduate on May 13th at the Leo Corps Center. The university will celebrate its 123rd commencement. The event will begin at 10 a.m. and will stream live on the internet. Each school will then hold its own diploma ceremony. Temple seniors got one final chance to celebrate college life together. The university's Young Alumni Association recently held the annual senior barbecue at the Leacora Center. Students got the chance to eat, drink, and share memories of the past four years. The organizers also encouraged students to join the association after graduation. Graduates are expected to have yet another difficult summer of finding work. Though employment for those straight out of college is expected to rise 5% over last year's figure, many college grads will have to prepare to move home with their parents and find a part-time job. Experts recommend accepting that part-time gig to make money to pay off student loans until a permanent job comes along. During the study days, the Class Pride 2010 committee sponsored a study break on Leah Course Walk. With finals coming up, students have spent the last few days preparing for exams. But students were invited to stop by and take a few minutes off from the books. There was free food, drinks, and music. Between the nice weather and the break time, the event was a success. The U.S. Department of Labor has reported more high school graduates are enrolled in colleges or universities than ever before. The Bureau of Labor Statistics said 70% of high school grads are enrolled in some level college courses. The study shows the premium placed on highly educated workers as the reason for the increase. And the Temple University's Provost and Senior Vice President of Academic Affairs, Lisa Stiano Koiko, has accepted the position of President at the City College of New York. She has held her positions here at Temple since 2007, and Stiano Koiko will assume her presidency at CCNY effective August 18th. Temple's Deputy Provost and Dean of University College, Richard Engler, will become Interim Provost June 1st. The results are in for Recycle Mania 2010. Temple exceeded its goal collecting nearly 400,000 pounds of recyclable material. That mark helped them win the A-10 division. Temple placed 34th in the national ranking, moving up from 39th place last year. More than 600 colleges participated in the nationwide competition. Over 84 million pounds of recyclables were collected in total. The newly reopened Baptist Temple hosted a celebration of globalization concert on May 2nd. Philadelphia Mayor Michael Nutter accepted the Globalization Philadelphia Award for his international efforts. The Temple President Ann Weaver Hart was also on hand to award former law school dean Robert Reinstein with the same honor. Reinstein played an important role in establishing Temple Japan and Temple Law in China. And homelessness remains a major problem in the tri-state area. Update's Liza George got the chance to visit a group of people who are helping each other through a tough time by creating a community of their own. The backyard of the Camden County Police Department lies a neighborhood unlike any other in the city. For some, it's a transitional community. Others say it's a haven for drug activity. But for the residents of what is called Tent City, this is home. For the past four years, Tent City has provided shelter for many of the tri-state's homeless. The people that come through are from all walks of life. I really don't like to throw the racial card out there. Ninety percent of my camp is Caucasian. They come from rich homes, such as Haddonfield, Haddon Heights, Washington Township, Cherry Hill, places of that nature. In this self-contained community, members are required to follow a strict set of rules. Because of these rules, residents feel safer here than in local shelters. It's more danger in a shelter. I've been in a shelter before, and I had stuff stolen from me, and I was beat up in a shelter. And none of that's happened to me here in a year I've been here, so. On any given day, you'll find people socializing, cooking meals together, and maintaining their areas much like any neighborhood in the U.S. If you have a problem with what you're hearing, come down and we'll help put those things to rest. You have to see it to believe it. 
We don't even see it to hear it. Not everyone is impressed with Tent City. A task force has been implemented to close the camp and find alternative housing for its residents. As of this afternoon, Tent City has gotten a reprieve. And for those who are concerned about what goes on here, they need only come down and see for themselves. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Liza George. And Blackboard users will notice some changes to the layout beginning in the first summer session. Computer Services will release the updated version of the online resource tool on May 16th. Blackboard 9 features a new user-friendly interface with draw, drag and drop menu functions. Training classes will be held at the Tech Center until May 24th. You can access more information by logging onto Blackboard and opening up the Blackboard 9 Coming Soon tab. The 2010 Temple University Diamond Awards were held Wednesday in the Gitta Student Center. Temple Updates Director Patrick Rosenbaum was one of 25 students to receive the award. The Diamond Award is the highest recognition given to a Temple University undergrad. Recipients are acknowledged for their academic excellence, service to the Temple community, and leadership ability. The Diamond Awards are presented annually by the Office of the Dean of Students. It was the 2010 ceremony to acknowledge the best and brightest among Temple's broadcasting, telecommunications, and mass media students. The annual BTM Emmys are given out to TV production students who excel at creating projects ranging from news packages to music videos to long-form pieces. First place winners receive gift certificates for their efforts. A Monmouth University poll projects more people spending their summer vacations at the Jersey Shore. The poll says 69% of New Jersey families plan to visit the beaches and boardwalks this year a 10% increase from last year's mark. The number who plan to stay at the shore for a week or more also increased by 6%. The number of shore vacationers last summer was very low due to the poor economy. While some people will spend their time down at the shore, others will be hitting the links. Updates Kevin Drennan tells us about a month of free golf lessons. Since its inception in 1916, the PGA of America has dedicated itself to growing the game of golf to all who take up a club. Free Lesson Month was launched in 1998 as part of the PGA's Play Golf America initiative to help bring new golfers to the game by offering free 10-minute lessons to players who signed up. They saw that the numbers were declining um, and they wanted to try to, to grow the game so that it's always going to be a popular sport for people to play. We recruit players or beginners from all over the area to come and learn golf. But uh, instead of charging them, we do it for free. Free Lesson Month runs the entire month of May and is open to all golfers and skill levels. And I think it's a great idea. I definitely plan to take advantage of it. Participation has grown every year. Last year, over 100,000 free lessons were given by teaching professionals nationwide. But it's more than just numbers. I think every year it's gotten better. When we went out there and volunteered our time, it ended up coming back, you know, four or five fold. I know people will enjoy it, and obviously it's a great time to, you know, spend with your family or outside in the weather, however you want to do it. To find more information about Free Lesson Month and to find an instructor near you, visit PlayGolfAmerica.com. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Kevin Drennan. Still to come on Temple Update, YouTube may be undergoing an unpopular change. And Isabel Garcia will tell us about the most sought-after graduation gifts. Temple Update, we'll be right back. <laughs> 